Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Let It Die. So in the previous episode we had reached floor 16 and we're getting ready to take on the 16 floor boss. And in between episodes I've been looking for healing beasts and a uh, slow shroom, well not slow shroom, uh, transferungus, oh god, uh, and uh, I've just finished farming those up, getting ready to take on the boss now, and uh, came across this situation, so I took the elevator down back to the waiting room and this fight happened. Now, when this happens, it means someone's raiding you. It means someone's invading your base and stealing your, stealing your stuff. And the way it works is you have to take on your own fighter. They're wearing the gear, but you're naked. So that's a fair fight. You could recover some of the splithium that was stolen from you if you fight back in this phase, or you could just go AFK, get a cup of coffee, or do whatever. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's not a fun mini game. I'd rather do anything else than this. Especially if you had a, a really good uh, set of weapons on you, if you've got some really annoying movesets. Perfect guard. Actually, no. Yeah, your geared hater is actually faster than you are, so there is that. So every hit you do on your mirror image that connects will recover some of the splithium that was taken from you. If you spend the whole three minutes fighting properly and you get a lot of hits. I think you can recover almost 100% of all the splithium that was raided from your base during the uh, during the time spent here. should be prepared for the boss. Let's go ahead and store some of these healing items. Let's see. Healing item, healing, 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 umbrella rib. Should I? Hmm. Yeah, I'll take you as well, just in case. Also found a bunch of blueprints while farming floors 11 and 12 for healing items and the uh, umbrella rip fungus I was looking for uh, specifically. Oh nice, night armor. It's pretty rare. Phantom soldier. And priests. This is a masterpiece. Go ahead and sell the silver parasol shroom. Also ran through go to nine on the way back, getting a uh, candle of green in the process. I think we're good to go. I don't have enough kill coins on me to get any more weapons. Let's see. Jungle machete. I could drop that. Let's see how much weapons my character has on him. 
only two weapons. The red hot iron is extremely strong though. So yeah, I think I'll drop the machete. Let's give him a, uh, a weapon to wield. Against the, uh, against the uh, normal enemies in the level. Okay, I think we're set. Death bag. Okay, attack. Healing, 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 healing. Grilled mushroom. Need to. So, one or two attack. Transferring us to healing. Yeah. Two attack. Transferring us to healing. So, two attack. One, two. Transferungus and some healing. There we go. That should be good for healing. Yep. Go ahead and select this fighter. Slashy slashy to deal with the normal enemies in the level. I'll eat the thingamajig. The life stream. Get the life stream buff. And I think we're good to go. Got a bunch of healing items. Got some attack mushrooms. The uh, umbrella rib fungus. Arguably one of the better mushrooms to be using against the specific boss we're going up against. So I will not be able to pick up any loot until we deal with the boss. Off we go. I think I'll make a mad dash for the boss, making sure to not trail too much streamers along with me. But you can you can bear in mind the route it, that leads to the boss. It's uh, a floor that for one half never changes and for the other half may have two paths which swap out with each other. <clears throat> so to our characters left is the way down from the previous floor, where we're not going. <clears throat> to our right is the way forward. Actually, we haven't leveled stamina, have we? Oh well. Up, up. Um, to have a charger, and there, if you're lucky. So it's always straight on over the, the pit, and this is where the endeavor is sure the boss can be our right in the route to the So we'll check this one out first. We're lucky, boss is here. Now, I recommend coming here with more weapons one more healthy weapon to deal with the boss. The reason I haven't enough is as I didn't have enough points and I didn't feel like farming up more kills for this. But I'd recommend having a full set of healthy armor and 
two or three weapons to deal with the boss. And a bunch of healing beasts, uh, cooked healing beasts for some good uh, health recovery. So I'm actually going to use a tactic on this boss I have not yet tried. I'm going to be using the Vampire Fungus to recover health after doing damage. I'm going to be using that in tandem with the Grilled Umbrella Rib Fungus, which grants invisibility but uh, saps our health at the same time. So this is going to be an interesting fight. Remember, you remember, excuse me, before the boss fight, for specific buffs, any um, any strength increasing buffs, life steal, and stuff like that stays on your fighter while you go into the boss arena and trigger the boss. But certain mushrooms effects won't work like that; they'll be removed. Mm. Specifically, the Transparangus invisibility buff buffs will be removed if you enter the fight with those. So you can't use slow or invisibility before starting a boss. You have to use those while the fight is active. So we're not going to be using those yet, but we will chow down on our life steal. Get that buff installed. And we will use the attack increase buff from the Sting Room. And we'll get ready the Transparangus. Off we go. Hello. Sweet boy, sweet boy. Alright. Starting off with our lasers to the right away. And we're invisible. Where are you heading? Over there. Okay. Our visible breath is slowly running out. Use the raid key. And we're unlucky. She managed to worm her way out of it. But I'm, uh, I'm fine with that. If I would have been way too fast if she died there. Could have took her out though. In one hit. So I'll use another mouse shroom to get our rage up again. We can use another rage move on this axe. We're using a salvaged steel axe S we've been lucky enough to find previously. We'll go and use our other attack buffs. I'll eat two of them because they stack in duration. Excuse me. Make use of the cover you have, so you don't uh, get your ass kicked. Uh, rage, rage, rage. Easy peasy. Of course, the uh, steel axe is the uh, the boss killer. Now I think I'll come back and fight her again, kind of uh, normally using invisible tactics, uh, strength increasing tactics. Let's see what have we got. The Jungle Machete E and the Red Hot Iron Plus. Yeah, that should be enough. Got a bunch of healing items. Okay, so we were over prepared for the boss this time. I'm gonna head back to the waiting room, come back up and fight her again. This time with. I'd consider not enough uh, prep work. Okay. Of course, you can half-ass it even even more than we're than we would uh, try now. You could go in the boss fight with 
not healthy weapons and armor that's almost broken. Well, the armor I'm using is half broken, but it's got an extreme defense because it's salvaged. We found that from... Uh, when did we get that? I think we got it from a, a treasure chest somewhere. Okay, back to the waiting room. Quickly reset this. But uh, a very good strategy versus this boss in particular would be having Transparangus available or the uh, Umbrella Rib <clears throat> in combination with the Lifesteal uh, Vampire Fungus from uh, Defeating Crabs. We're good to go. Just check out what we got from that charger first. Aha. Happy wheeler pants. Okay, that costs uh, black metal to upgrade, which we don't have yet. Really heal up and we're off again. Not sure how successful this one will be. You used to be able to find uh, Transparangus much more frequently. And that was, uh, that was a serious boon against the boss. Because uh, the, uh, apps, the uh, regular Transparangus would give you invisibility for 20 seconds and you could stack them. So you get a like 40 second or 60 second invisibility and then you just go there and wail on her. Or she'd have no, uh, no way of uh, defending herself. Oh yeah, we're getting XP too. route to the boss again. Could be this way, or it could be the other way. And it's not this way this time. We haven't properly explored this. The start of the fight can be tricky because she spawns right next to you, so you'll want to get back behind cover as soon as possible. Buff up. And she'll teleport away somewhere else. To me. How nice of you. Honestly. Yeah. When she wriggles around like that, she's getting ready to teleport to another location. And she's managed to get herself on the floor. Where are you going? No. So if we would get knocked off, and you can get knocked off by our attacks onto the lower floor, having particularly, as you can see, we took hard damage. It was reduced by 50%. Got a healing item. You can hide behind these, uh, behind these little mountainous thingy bobs. While she's taking shots at you. 
you can tell where she is by where her laser is pointing. Now, this is rare, I don't see that happen very often, her absolutely spamming that uh, armor breakage laser attack. Reloading and teleporting away. Teleporting to behind us. Yeah, the quick bursts of uh, of shots she fires are very homing. Very yeah, those pew pew pews. Oh, teleporting away. Right next to us, run, run, run. Just giving her a laser. You can tell she's uh, charging up her laser because of those red, uh, those red uh, electrical beams uh, surrounding her. Charging up the normal shots. Reloading. Just homing shots. Trying to teleporting away. Excuse me. Reloading. Roaming shots, teleport in. Oh, woohoo! Really? Shooting through scenery? You freaking cheat. You cheater. Okay, teleport right next to us. Watch out. Reloading. Oh, again right next to us, run away. Reloading. I'm going to just show enough for uh, all of the moves in this fight. make use of this rain of Q to make her miss her shots and wait for opportunities to strike. I'd say the most important things would be to have a, a healthy set of armor equipped which is strong enough, a decently strong weapon and a bunch of healing items at the very least. If you're not going to bring, if you're not going to prepare properly and have attack mushrooms other offensive mushrooms or uh, strong salvage gear. So she can really combo you out with those uh, tracking tracking shots there. She's really spamming the tracking shots now. Right next to me. And some of our armor is almost broken because we got hit by one of her uh, armor breaking lasers. Somewhere. At a certain percentage health, she'll drop to this lower area and stay here and never return to the upper area. We always go hit by that again. That is ridiculous her using that instantly after teleporting. Definitely something to be in mind. When she's teleporting away and she's in a in a week, like uh, behind one of these pillars. Um, hold on, she's gone back up. I guess she goes back up at the uh, very low health. Oh god. Because I usually kill her at this point. Oh well. Reloading. I guess I'll go back up and fight her. Okay, got to be really careful while climbing. So let's take shots at you while you're going up. Of course, attacking now. Of course, attacking now. Getting hit by her uh, armor-breaking laser is 
be a death sentence. Not because I'm gonna not get hit by that. Like we did. Okay, so I'm putting away. Okay, I'm in the best spot now. Okay, I'm behind that part. So she's in a position we can't attack her, we just wait to teleport to a better laser. Of course. Of course we go ahead, but luckily we have enough healing items on us and all of our armor is broken because go ahead by the laser. War green. That's the main reason you'll want to be coming here and fighting her. Let's get that uh, piece of material. MDF, don't mind if I do. Some more MDF. Oh, rosewood. Rosewood, eh? Ah, I guess this is a wood-only floor. Interesting. I had no idea. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's have a look at this then. Yotsuyama Bionics. Hovering tuber. Size 181 centimeters, a weight 210 kilos. The defi def definitive flying model modified from the scratch tuber can reach 200 meters with the jets on its back, then strikes with its uh, symbolic drill. It can even eject hot stakes of steel. Huh. Uh, your own personal horror movie maker will uh, defile your foes from above before they even know what's drilling them. Uh, defiling them. <laughs> uh, users comments. Great, cha uh, great change from a human type. I got all choked up the first time I saw it also use its drill to dig a grave for a fallen comrade. French soldier, age 27. Alright. Yeah, the tubers are definitely hit straight out of a horror movie. Well, don't forget to open the route behind the boss. Might come in handy. And that's just about how you defeat this one, I'd say. Uh, one way more efficient than another. That'll be it for this episode. See you in the next one.